everybody, and welcome to the 20th Annual Recycling Update from NICRA. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Laura McQuan, and I am the president of the Northern California Recycling Association of NICRA. Um, thank you. Our first speaker is Paul Liotsakis. Is that it? Where is it? There you are. Paul Liotsakis. He's the founder of GoBox. And uh, he's going to be talking to you about uh, GoBox reusable takeout containers for the Bay Area food vendors and their customers. Let's um, have a round of applause for Paul. I'm uh, the founder of GoBox San Francisco, and um, today I will, I will, well, before I start my presentation, let me thank Laura and the Recycling Update team for inviting me here. And uh, I'm also one on, wanting to thank all of you in the room, the practitioners, uh, it, for doing the work that you do to implement, reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, being in this space now for about a year, I've um, come to appreciate even more your work and the challenges that are associated with changing uh, people's attitude and, and uh, also implementing new initiatives and maintaining recycling goals. Um, I will start by giving an update about what GoBox is and some background and also uh, give an update about our pilot in San Francisco, San Francisco that we just launched and also give you some um, information about our vision and where we see ourselves going. Okay, so GoBox provides clean reusable containers as a service to food vendors and their customers and has a system for managing the return. The program started in Portland for in 2011 by Laura Weiss. It's um, been a very successful pro program there. There's 2,000 individual members signed up, 30 corporate members. There's 75 vendors, and to date we have uh, there's about uh, I think yeah 65,000 disposable containers diverted from landfill. So I licensed the concept from, from Laura and implementing it here in the Bay Area. The way GoBox works is you sign up online and you receive a token like this. You get your meal in a reusable container. You enjoy your food and then when you're done, you drop it off at conveniently located drop boxes. It could be in your office, at the lobby, or even at a food vendor. And we pick up those containers, we wash them in commercial certified kitchens, and we return them clean to vendors to be used again. And this closed loop system is all done by bicycle. So here's a couple pictures of what the drop box looks and what a potential scenario at, a, at an office building looks like during the return. Uh, I have an, important, uh, an exciting announcement on our end is that we just launched the GoBox app to replace the token. And um, it's in beta test mode right now. It's going really well, but it will help us. Uh, it will help users uh, not forget their token, or if they did forget it, they have it always on their phone. It helps us on our back end to manage the returns. Uh, it, it helps us collect data about how much, how many go boxes are out there. Uh, if our if a vendor is running low, so it's been a, it's a great back end for us, and also it helps us package deals for corporations that may want to have all their staff um, have a, a membership. So instead of trying to figure out how to manage all these tokens, we can do it, we can negotiate these deals via the app. So uh, in terms of uh, our pilot, the last year I've been busy updating the website to make it tech savvy for the San Francisco audience and the Bay Area audience. Uh, we created outreach material, we built drop boxes, and uh, launched the pilot in San Francisco in the American Industrial Center, which is a building that has uh, occupies about two city blocks, about 200 small businesses in it, and uh, that is going well. We I signed up all the local vendors in this area. There's about five vendors, and we identified a wash site, which is at a restaurant, uh, uh, one of our participating restaurant uh, members. And we launched it about at the beginning of November. And at first, we got a couple people signed up just from passive uh, point of sale material. 
at, at vendors' uh, checkout areas. And I was kind of getting worried that we weren't getting more people. And then the moment we set up a table downstairs at the entrance, and people saw faces associated with the program, uh, got questions answered about how it works, and also um, saw that there's which local vendors are participating. The local vendors actually gave uh, coupons uh, for signing up uh, that pretty much offset the $29 membership fee. And we got 30 people signed up to date. We're at 200 plus containers diverted from landfill. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a really exciting test bed to see how things are going for us, how to launch this in a larger scale downtown. One of the, I would say, success stories that surprised me was a lot of these uh, companies uh, actually bought membership. They're small businesses with five to 10 employees, and we've had a few buy memberships for their entire staff. So I'm hoping this could be a model that replicates itself. We also got some media attention, uh, also associated with, the, with our crowdfunding campaign that we did. But um, it was helpful to get us some tech magazines like Fast Company, because a lot of our audience in the city will be, or member, potential members are going to be from the tech industry. So uh, next steps, we're looking at downtown San Francisco. Uh, the Twitter building has uh, expressed interest in becoming a Dropbox site for us. Uh, the Galleria is another area that we have uh, some companies uh, connected to that area that want to sign up as members. So we're doing outreach in the Galleria, the Crocker, um, in the Crocker Galleria, and a couple other spots downtown. What's in it for, for companies? Uh, it's, it's an opportunity to be in an office building, uh, perks for, their, for employees similar to, let's say, a transit pass, uh, reduce waste in the office, on-site convenient returns for GoBox members, and also the credits for um, in the reuse category or sustainable purchasing ongoing consumables. So where we see ourselves going from here, I think there's important partnerships that we can forge with uh, vendors and cities and companies. And I've uh, jotted down some ideas here about where uh, we can work together. I, my background is from the energy space. I'm um, implementing, implementing uh, energy saving initiatives. And um, I think rebates have worked really well in this space. And I don't see why maybe we can't do a rebate program where some of the membership fee can be offset by uh, a city offering, let's say, $5 off uh, a GoBox membership. And I think if we can replicate the strategies that made recycling and composting really successful and part of mainstream culture, if you could do the same for reuse, that would be awesome. I think what I find is one of the main barriers to people signing up is it's just a new idea. It's, um, I've had a vendor say, well, you sign up somebody else first and then come back. And or it's a chicken and the egg problem of, of vendors saying, well, which companies do you have signed up and member and, and companies saying, well, which vendors do you have signed up? So I'm relying on early pioneers, which there are plenty, to, to just jump on board of a new idea. But um, I think if we can show uh, critical mass around uh, ideas that were new at one point, like the Clipper card, uh, but people jumping in and, and going for it and having outreach support and partnerships, I think we can make it a go with GoBox also. So having said that, I want to thank you again. And feel free to give me feedback and questions as well, because I rely on that. Thank you. Well, we have time for a couple questions. If there's anybody out there who'd like to ask a couple questions, it's a very exciting project. Go ahead. What is the Go Box made out of? Good question. Actually, let me. <laughs> I got to think of that question at some point. It's a it's a number five plastic, BPA free, and uh, microwave safe. And we have another version actually we're exploring right now, made by Preserve, which is fifty percent recycled content. Any other questions? Yes. Now, is there only one size? Of 
Uh, good question. No, we, there's a different sizes. I happen to bring a, a one with three con uh, compartments, one with one compartment, but there's a half size of this, and there's a soup, the soup containers also. You know, you could do it uh, on the on the phone on your phone, and it will take you two minutes. It, it's that. Yeah. Go ahead. Here and here and then that'll be it. Is um are you connecting with connecting with the San Francisco Free Business Program, and will this help businesses that are interested in getting certified? Uh, you know, I should, I, I, it's on my list of, of places to connect. I haven't done that yet, but that's a great idea. Yeah, how did you get the restaurant to buy into washable all these? Uh, <laughs> you know, they, they actually support, they just liked the idea. They were really gung ho about the idea. And, and I think a lot of their uh, customers were interested in it as well. So, yeah. But, and we're actually looking to um, do, the, the, our partner downtown is going to be St. Anthony's Food Kitchen, Soup Kitchen, and they have um, their dishwashing equipment that's decided after 1 o'clock when the meals are served. So we'll partner with them downtown. Thanks, Paul.